Hey, Strength Squad, we are now going into our six week uh, specialization phase now um, for this 10 week transformation. Now, um, we're gonna do this a little bit differently than what we've done in the past. So we have our three groups. We have our people who are shredding, we have our people who are sculpting, we have our people who are building. I mean, your programming is gonna be a little bit different depending on what you are choosing, um, but we're changing the emphasis a little bit here. For the next six weeks, we're really gonna focus on um, increasing everyone's bench and squat. So Monday is gonna be bench day, Tuesday is gonna be squat day, um, and we are all gonna focus on increasing those numbers. The style of programming we're gonna be implementing implementing for those two lifts is going to be a little bit different than what we've been doing. Uh, we're going to use maybe a little bit more sets um, and we're going to work maybe a little bit farther away from failure, but we're really going to hammer home the technique and intensity of those two movements. Um, I'm going to explain to you now how we're going to kind of specialize towards your specific goal. So with regards to those two main movements, everyone is going to see a bench and a squat on Monday and Tuesday. That's not going to change. Everyone's going to have it. Now, when you look on your workout, you're just gonna see kind of C description for those movements. There's no sets or reps. Um, I will have the set and rep schemes written on the green board tomorrow. Um, and it's gonna be a little bit different for everyone. So if you're in the shred, you'll see on that green board, um, a set and rep scheme, and it's gonna be slightly less aggressive or uh, pushing, it's gonna not push the intensity as much as say the build. So the build's gonna be the most aggressive um, set and rep scheme where we're really trying to uh, maximize our strength gains. Um, and what you'll see as well is, um, the accessory movements are going to be a little bit different. So if you're in the shred, you're going to see um, some of your accessory movements done directly after um, your main movement. Um, we'll probably do about three to four accessory movements done in some supersets. Um, after you're done those, uh, we have some intervals or some conditioning work to finish for you. So we're going to do some bikes, we're going to do some sleds, things like that. The goal for you is we're going to maintain um, muscle mass and we're going to build the technique and strength on that main movement. Um, and then we're going to burn some extra calories through our conditioning at the end. Um, because you're shredding down, um, we're not going to be able to gain as much mass. Um, so we're just going to really focus on keeping the volume a little bit lower, improving technique on the main lifts. Um, and, and getting as shredded as possible. For the sculpt and the build, um, for, specifically for the sculpt, you'll see the same set and wrap scheme as the build. Um, the only difference is you'll work with some now supersets um, after your bench or your squat. And this will be more of a aesthetic based um, programming style. So you'll probably see like after your bench, some shoulder presses with some lat pull downs and then some curls and some tricep extensions. So we're really just trying to kind of build a nice um, all around a muscle building program for you. And then for the build, you're going to be the most aggressive towards strength. Your set and rep schemes are going to be specific towards building strength on that. Um, you'll have a variation of the main movement after you're done. Um, and then you'll have kind of three accessory movements done in a superset fashion um, to really bring up uh, strength on that. So the goal is to build strength on those movements. Um, we are trying to basically shred you down in the shred. We're trying to kind of build a nice aesthetic physique in the sculpt and in the build, we are really pushing on um, the intensity and the specificity towards that main movement. You're gonna see a lot of supersets. Um, you all will have your a specific warm-up um, written in the app as well. So you should see that. Um, and when you come in, go get after it.